Hey guys, Mark here, and it's going to be a new beginner's guide that I'm going to be making for the East Sky line of coaxial helicopters. Now, I'm going to go ahead and be using the East Sky Comanche, but this will, again, this is going to apply to pretty much all the East Sky uh, coaxial helicopters. The Robins 22, the Llama 3, the Llama 4, the KOB, the Dolphin, the Hunter. Um, they're all pretty much the same things, and again, this is going to pertain to all of them. So, uh, I'm going to continue on with giving you information on the Comanche here. Okay, as you can tell, I'm not doing my usual out-of-the-box review. Uh, the reason for this being is I didn't buy this helicopter. I borrowed this helicopter from a good friend of mine. Um, he bought it from X-Heli. Uh, he got it to learn on. He used it, he, uh, learned the basic, and has since moved to the Honeybee Fixed Pitch. So I was able to borrow it from him so that I could make another little beginner's guide here. Um, and because, obviously, I didn't buy it, I don't have all of the original stuff that comes with it. Um, like, this stuff down here is not the original equipment, nor is that. Uh, but I have it there just for demonstration purposes, so you'll still have an idea of what you'll be getting when you get your coaxial helicopter. Okay, so uh, what you can expect to find in your box when you get your helicopter is you'll find the helicopter. It's all ready to fly, needs no assembly. You'll get your transmitter here, a uh, four-channel transmitter. All it needs is eight AA batteries. You'll get a simulator cable. And this allows you to hook your transmitter to your computer. And you do that because you this right here is a simulator. You install this on your computer, and that way you can practice on your computer, crash all day long, it never costs you a penny, um, and then you can go try it on your real helicopter. The uh, battery you'll get with your helicopter is going to be a 7.4 volt, 800 milliamp lithium polymer battery. And you'll also get a charger for it, as well as adapters to hook it, uh, little alligator clips to hook it to like a car battery, any 12 volt power supply, as well as a wall adapter. Okay, you can see here, just got the standard 4 channel transmitter from eSky. Uh, you got your power indicator up here, tell you how much power is in there. Um, crystal down here, some reversing switches. You got your trim tabs uh, up here. This is a trainer switch so that if you have an experienced pilot with you, you can hook two of these transmitters together, uh, having the experienced pilot on one transmitter and the whoever's practicing on the other transmitter. And that way, if the whoever's practicing gets in trouble, the experienced pilot can take over and save the helicopter, preventing a crash. Um, the other uh, thing that that jack is used for is with this simulator cord. Uh, now, the actual simulator cord you get with this a little bit differently, but it's the same basic thing. Um, what it does, it allows you to hook your transmitter to your computer so you can use it with the simulator program that's included with the helicopter. Okay, so the Comanche here, this is a four-channel coaxial helicopter. Um, you'll also, you're also going to see two-channel as well as three-channel coaxial helicopters. And the difference between the two, a two-channel helicopter goes up and down and spins around in circles. The, uh, the nose of a two-channel helicopter is going to be weighted so that when you kind of when you come up, it's going to be kind of pointed down so it'll drift forwards, but you cannot control that. Um, a three-channel helicopter will go up and down. It's going to spin around in circles, but that you can control your forwards and backwards. A four-channel helicopter like this, you go up and down, you spin around in circles, you can go forwards and backwards, but you also add left to right. So if you're going to get a, any kind of coaxial helicopter, make sure it's a four-channel. Okay, I went ahead and took the canopy off here to give you a little bit better look at what's underneath it. Um, so, as always, I shouldn't really have to say this, but always when you get a helicopter, always read your manual. Um, anytime you buy anything, you should read your manual front to back. Uh, but the helicopter itself here, um, you can see the canopy. It's a two-piece canopy. Uh, so, in case you break just one part or the entire thing. Um, the helicopter itself here, you can see it uses twin 180 motors. It's got, you got your elevator servo. And you got your aileron. Um, the 4-in-1 gyro, that's what this piece is up here. This contains pretty much all the electronics, like the receiver, the mixer, the gyro, um, all that fun stuff. The uh, Now, I, you can see the tips of the blades are painted. They don't come that way. That's how they look when they come. Um, but when you're flying, you can't really see the tips of the blades if they're all black. So what I always recommend doing is take a little bit of white out. And what I do is I take a little piece of tape and just stick it over the blade like that and take some, like I said, any kind of white out correction fluid there but just a little bit let it dry up a little bit but the reason for doing this is it's really going to help you see your blades when they're spinning around in circles it's really going to help you learn to fly um, but after it's dry, you can just go ahead and take it off 
and there you go you got a white painted tip it's a pretty basic design pretty simple um and this design is used in pretty much all of the e-sky coaxials there, there's only a few variances um and this one the comanche is almost identical to the hunter the dolphin and the llama four they share pretty much all the same parts the kob the llama three and the robins 22 use for almost all the same parts but there are a few uh differences there but um so i'm gonna go over some of the spare parts with you that i think you should have on hand um so because i've got the uh comanche here you can see i've got a comanche canopy uh but these parts are really gonna be the same parts you're gonna want to keep on hand whether you have the east guy uh hunter the dolphin the kob the llama four or even if you have the llama three or the robins 22 um this is going to apply to pretty much all of them so uh first you're gonna want to have a spare canopy they're pretty cheap um the plastic is pretty thin so definitely you know try to keep one on hand because it always looks cooler if you have a canopy on it uh, you can see i've got a stabilizer bar up here this is probably going to be the first thing you're going to bend um, a lot of times you can get away with just bending it back but it's a cheap enough part just keep one on hand uh you got your gear b with the main shaft um again another part cheap enough keep it on hand because once you bend these you really can't reuse them uh inner shaft a this is one of those ones you sometimes can get away with bending it back but again it's cheap enough keep one on hand um then you got your sets of blades up here uh package a and package b um each package comes with six blades so you know it's plenty of spares uh down here you got your inner shaft b hub um definitely this part in the center here that you may not break but you want to have extra links uh, you can see i've got another gear down here this gear is for inner shaft a and you got your uh, blade grips definitely want to keep some of these and a battery holder uh, now you're going to have uh, phases where it seems like you're breaking the same part over and over and over again but uh, these are just general parts that you're going to want to have on hand you may be breaking different stuff or you may not break any of this stuff but again these are just my recommendations